Hi there. In a previous video, we worked through the, the basic analysis diagram of an import tariff. We took a market for steel where initially there was a high level of import demand and we added a, a, an import tariff to the world price shown in this diagram. So originally the world price was PW and imports were Q2 to Q3. We added on a tariff shown here by the vertical upward movement to the world price. That increases domestic supply, causes domestic demand to contract. Imports contract to Q5, Q4, this area here, this quantity. The yellow area shows the government revenue from the import tariff. Now, just in the next couple of minutes, we're going to think about the consequences for welfare, the consequences for efficiency. Because this is one of the key aspects whenever you get a question on protectionism, trade barriers of tariffs and quotas and what have you. You've got to think about the impact on consumers and suppliers in this market and in related markets as well. The core point, I think, is that an import tariff, other things being the same, is, is good for domestic producers because they now get some protection from import uh, supply. But probably bad news in this case for domestic consumers of steel. It's bad news for them because they're now having to pay more for their steel. Originally they were paying PW down here. Now they have to pay PW plus T. Prior to the tariff, there's a lot of consumer surplus. Now after the tariff, this is the consumer surplus that's left and that's substantially less than there was before. So consumers lose out, they're paying more for their steel. That's gonna hit the profits of construction companies and car makers, for example. Domestic suppliers are better off in the sense that they're getting a higher price for their steel and they're producing more output. So this green area here, this green trapezium area here, shows the additional or extra producer surplus after the tariff. So there's a gain in producer surplus uh, in terms of tariff that was consumer surplus, now producer surplus. There is a loss of consumer surplus. The yellow area is tax revenue. There's two triangles that haven't yet been shaded in. And they are, in fact, welfare losses. The reason why there are welfare losses is because the import tariff actually overall causes a loss of economic welfare, or so-called community surplus. The gains to the government in yellow and producers in green are less than the lost consumer surplus. So these areas here are called the deadweight loss of welfare from a tariff, sometimes called the social cost of a tariff. And they happen because a tariff artificially is inflating prices above what you would normally expect to see in a sort of competitive, you know, free trade competitive market. So in theory, a tariff will lead to a deadweight loss of economic welfare or in other words, a loss of allocative efficiency. This is a useful table either to print off or just to press the pause button. It takes us through the key summary of the effect of a tariff in terms of welfare and efficiency. So let's briefly work our way through it. Uh, we're thinking here about a tax on imports. What's the impact of an import tariff? Domestic output, good for domestic producers. You expect to see domestic supply expand. Uh, the, the price is higher, the profit motive should encourage an increase in production. Probably good news for GDP. Domestic demand, well, consumers are worse off because they're going to pay a higher price and that cuts into their, their real incomes. Imports, well, we should normally expect to see a fall in the quantity of imports. Of course, that does depend on the elasticities of demand and supply. But the tariff is a kind of expenditure switching policy which favours domestic producers. Governments are better off in the sense that they get more revenue from the tariff and they may get some more revenue from extra employment in the domestic steel industry, for example. But they may lose some revenue elsewhere. Producers are better off. They get more producer surplus. Foreign producers are worse off. So the, uh, the industries that have been subjected to the tariff, they're going to be selling fewer goods in, into, the, into the overseas market. Consumers are worse off. Their consumer surplus falls because the price is higher. We've shown that overall, overall, we can say that a tariff reduces economic welfare. 
and that is shown by the dead weight loss indicated by the two blue shaded areas. Now this is a, a really clear, not an easy diagram, but if you want to get high marks for analysis on, on tariff questions, think about the consequences for producer surplus, consumer surplus, the government in terms of tax revenues, and also in terms of the overall impact on economic welfare. We're going to throw in another evaluation video on tariffs uh, as part of this series, but for now that was the basic analysis of the welfare effects of an import tariff.